swimming here in Indianapolis, but the world record holder is in this field, and Jessica Hardy will swim out of lane four with the fastest qualifying time. This does have all the capability of shaping up, not just to be good at the trials in Omaha, right? But this could be really good in London. Emma Schottler, 18-year-old. Just about 20 minutes south of Indianapolis is her home. She's in lane one. Rebecca Edjervik, Swedish swimmer, out of lane two. Swimming in lane three from Jamaica, originally now representing Texas A&M, Leah Atkinson, 23-year-old. Well, Jessica Hardy. Jessica won the national championship last summer at Stanford in this distance. And again, the world record holder back from Federal Way in 2009. And Michael Lawrence, also a very good breaststroker, now 21 year old from Swim Mac, Carolina. She won the 200 here. She was fifth in the 100 last summer at Stanford. Michelle McKeon just came off the NCAAs where she placed sixth in this event, swimming for the University of Georgia. And here's Amanda Beard was fourth in this event in 2004, which is one of the four Olympics in which she's competed. Sixth in this race in the trials in 08. And an author. Got a book coming out this week. You know, the Luther's daughter. Iceland and the University of Florida, hence the cap. She's swimming out of lane eight. There's Jessica Hardy, the world record holder, as you said, and if the 200 fly was maybe a weak stroke for the United States. This is definitely a strong one. Yes. And as you said, strong medal possibilities here for the U.S. this summer, Ted. Obviously, Jessica Hardy, the world record holder. Sony, the world champion. The last two world championships, Sony. Yeah. Bria Larson, who just won the NCAA championship. She's not here. Annie Chandler. I mean, there are a lot of American breaststrokers that are so good. And a lot of really good ones that are going to be left out, not making that team that could probably final in London. And then you have the Aussies. Pickett has the fastest time in the world this year. And Liesl Jones is still going. She has the fifth fastest. Coming off their Olympic trials, they sure did have some great trials there. The Aussies have always been very good in breaststroke and will be good this summer as well. Already looked really good in the prelims, going 107 plus, which already cracked the top 10. Now you've got three Americans in the top 10. Already went out 31 to 27. And she's going to win this handily, more than a body length ahead. Boy, if she can go 106 here, that would be something else. And Hardy she comes is. in at wow. 106 12. Amanda Beard ended up getting second. Amanda Beard came in at 108.50 to get second, but Jessica Hardy puts up, well, Rowdy, let's say that's a statement. That's the first in this Indianapolis Grand Prix meet, the first fastest time of the year. That is a huge statement. Amanda Beard with a smile on her face. She was, she has to be happy with that. Remember, her best event is going to be the 200 breaststroke. This all sets her up for the 200, but Jessica Hardy, Ted, uh, that's her best time, second best time over the last two years. She was 105.9 last year in 2011, so she has got to be thrilled with that time. 107 plus from the morning to 106.1. Mm. Look at that stroke. You see that body that really has to hold a straight line through their stroke, and she does that so well. The body line will keep the spine really straight, and she does such a nice job of really accelerating what she has to and to make a great extension at the end. That's a beautiful swim. Jessica Hardy, you can smile, Jessica, it's okay. You put up the fastest time this year. Was that a target for you? No, not at all. <laughs> um, I had a rough start to this meet. I'm, you know, just training through it and wanted to see how it went and it felt pretty good. Well, training through it, I mean, did you have any idea? 106.1, that's, that's really fast. Thanks. Um, your training is going pretty well and I love to race. Having fun is always my goal, and I'm happy. This is an event that I know that you know is very dear to your heart. Is it is it one that you really have at the top of the list? I know you're you're very good in the 50 free, obviously 100 free, but is this the one that you really want to have uh, as a bread and butter, so to speak, this summer? For sure, breaststroke is um, definitely my my heart. You know, my heart and soul. I love it, and freestyle is just fun, and it's much you know a tighter competitive race. Breaststroke is something I just love to do. 
Well, you did a good job of it tonight. Good job. Thanks. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank Appreciate you. And thanks it. for holding the microphone away from your mouth. Sorry. Very No, that's very clever. <laughs> thanks. I'm out of breath. That's, that's a veteran move. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Jessica Hardy. I like that. We've, we've, we, we throw the headsets on the poor swimmers right. who are gasping for air. And Jessica was very clever there. Well, that's a good race for Jessica Hardy. Fastest time in the world this year. And don't sleep on Amanda Beard, who did a very good job to get second.